And Leibniz is uh, quite an interesting uh, figure, intellectual of early modern times. And uh, on the one hand, uh, he is uh, one figure who stands for um, progress of science and technology, uh, modernism, enlightenment. But on the other hand, um, concerning the tradition of um, critics of uh, modernism, for instance, postmodernism, he's uh, quite turned to the opposite side as a bad guy um, who stands for, for a linear progress development and, uh, and finality of times and he was ridiculed by Voltaire uh, with his best of all, his, um, we live in the best of uh, all uh, possible worlds. So uh, he's an ambivalent figure and uh, uh, I think this uh, winter school also uh, showed uh, to me that uh, we can find uh, uh, different sites within uh, um, time thinking of uh, Leibniz which are uh, not in this um, frame of uh, a narrow frame of, of modern thinking of time as a linear progress but you can also find some contradictions some skepticism of even him uh, if there is a really a progress and uh, we have um, the idea that there is sometimes um, um, even a regression or a retrograde movement, an up and down of time and uh, some sign of a circularity of time, spiraling of time. And this could be also inspiring us for our contemporary thinking and con uh, conceptualizing of, of time concepts. For instance, um, you could take the French philosopher uh, uh, Deleuze who took up the idea of time as a sequences of foldings, uh, foldings together and this uh, he related directly to Leibniz thinking uh, and his uh, famous uh, dictum the, the, uh, the present is fulfilled by the past and uh, um, the present is pregnant with the future. And the other thing is that Leibniz is an early modern thinker who really uh, tries to transcend uh, the European perspective. Uh, he was really going deep into trans transcultural thinking and he uh, had good context to Jesuits to travel to China and he was really interested in, in Chinese philosophy, Chinese science and even Chinese time thinking. And in difference to many European thinkers at that time, he had not the idea that the European are on the uh, high score of civilization development but rather the opposite um, and he, um, he viewed the Chinese uh, culture on, on the very same level of uh, advancement and, and cultural complexity as the European one. So he, he can be used in the modern times, in our times today, uh, as an early thinker of uh, uh, transcultural communication.